Hi, in this tutorial we're going to show you how you can edit the locomotion animations to further use them in Unreal Engine. So let's go to Mixamo and pick a character that we like. Now let's find a set with locomotion animations. This one has plenty of them, but we only just need a couple of basic ones. So let's download them into a separate folder. Of all the animations we will need walk, run, sprint, jump, start, loop and end and also the FBX of the character in the T-pose. So let's put them in a separate folder and delete the rest. Now let's go to Cascager and just drag and drop the character to import it. Let's also import a weapon which I got from a default sample project in Unreal Engine. Unparent the root bone of the weapon to avoid double transformations. It's better to work with this hierarchy in Cascadeur and it's not going to matter in Unreal Engine anyways. To place the weapon just copy the position of the right hand joint and paste it onto the weapon's root bone. So let's further adjust the position of the weapon. To rotate it 90 degrees we can use fixed rotation step. And now let's rig the character using the quick rigging tool. The character has been fully recognized since it's a Mixamo character and it's fully supported. Just drag and drop the root bone of the weapon into the character's weapon slot. By default, the point controllers for the weapon have not been placed correctly, so let's quickly fix that. Let's also adjust the size of the weapon's rigid body. By default, rigid bodies are hidden in the outliner, so you will want to turn them on. Once located, let's change the size of this rigid body and its position. All of those things are going to influence the character's center of mass. And the base rig is done. So let's just exit the rig mode. I noticed there was an extra key, so let's delete it by pressing F. And now we're going to save the scene as a base pose. Now go to File, Import FBX and import our first animation. As you can see, we've got some issues with the elbow position. Now, one of the ways to quickly fix that will be to use auto-posing. To do that, turn on interval edit mode and select the whole interval. Now, select all the points by double-clicking the pelvis and press Shift-Z on your keyboard to activate them. Then, simply deactivate the elbow point to let auto-posing determine its natural position automatically. Now same, using interval edit mode, let's fix the position of the weapon in this idle animation. Now we want the weapon to follow the hands animation at all times. To do that, locate the weapon track, which should be under the right arm, and set its interpolation on the interval to FK. Now, let's copy the pose from the first frame of the animation into the last one. Yeah, and make sure you copy-paste in the global mode. Now let's fix the other hand so it will follow the weapon during the entire animation. We are going to be using the copy tool to do that. So first select the points of the left hand. 
we're going to copy in the local space and make sure to turn on relative to pivot mode. Now right click set the pivot to the weapon. This way we copy the position of the hand relative to the point of the weapon. Select all the frames of the animation and press Ctrl Alt V. That is a shortcut for paste into interval function, which allows you to paste the position into every single keyframe of the animation. So we're done, now let's save this scene as idle. Of course, if you work on your own animation, you'll probably put some extra time into making sure that the fingers are positioned correctly, but the purposes of our video, this'll do just fine. Now, let's open up the base pose that was saved before and import the walking animation. As you can see, in this animation, the character is actually moving forward. But for a simple locomotion, we will need an in-place animation instead. To quickly make this animation in place, we're going to use the copy tool. So first, let's go to the joint view mode and select all the joints. Then select all the frames of the animation and make sure to return back to the very first frame. Now we want to copy in relative to pivot mode and click this button here to enable moving pivot mode. Now go edit, copy interval or press Ctrl Shift C. Now before we paste the interval, we click this button again to go back to fixed pivot mode. Then in the scene settings under copier, we want to disable everything except for the Z position. Because in our animation, the character is moving along the Z axis. Now make sure you're still on the very first frame of the animation. Go to edit, paste interval or press Ctrl Shift V. So what we've done here, we cancel the translation along the Z axis while keeping the X and Y translate. So this is the way you can utilize the fixed pivot mode and moving pivot mode in the copier tool. And don't forget to reset the copier settings when you're done. Now let's fix the elbows same way we did before. and fix the gun placement. To do that, we can copy the position of the weapon from the idle animation. And again, so that the weapon would follow the right hand, select all the points of the weapon and in the object properties, under point IK FK settings, set their behavior to FK and also set FK interpolation for the weapons track. Now let's copy the position of the left hand from the idle animation. Make sure that you copy in the local mode with relative to pivot enabled paste into the whole interval using the interval edit mode by pressing Ctrl Alt V. And then again using the interval edit mode, let's correct the position of the gun in the whole animation. This animation is done, so let's save it as a separate scene. Then open up the base pose, import the next animation and fix it the same way we did before. By first turn it into an in-place animation, then copy the weapon placement from the previous animation. And fix the elbow. And same using the interval edit mode, correct the position of the gun.
and don't forget to save the scene as a new file. You might as well do it right away after importing your animation so you do not accidentally override the base pose. In the jump start animation, let's fix the elbow as well. Set FK interpolation for the weapon track. And copy its position from the idle animation. It might be a good idea to also copy the very first frame of the animation as well, to ensure seamlessness. And then, same way as before, we correct the position of the gun. Then once we feel the animation is ready, we save the scene as a new file, and then export the animations as FBX to further use them in Unreal Engine.